what are the limitations of a trial balance? A trial balance we we assure, the trial balance let us say assures us of the arithmetical accuracy of the books. If the two sides tally, we feel that there is no are no errors in the way we have prepared the books. There are no errors in the ledger accounts. But frankly, it is not entirely a proof of accuracy and that is its biggest uh, biggest disadvantage. Suppose an entire transaction is left out, it is not reflected in the trial balance. The trial balance will tally because both the debit and the credit is left out. It will not be reflected in the trial balance. How, how is it reflected in a trial balance? When the debit balance and the credit balance disagree, we know that there is a Similarly, if there is an omission, this is complete omission of a transaction, the first case, entry is not posted. We enter in the journal but do not take it to the ledger. So, this is omission of posting. What was posting? Transferring the data from the journal to the ledger. This is omission of recording. Ignored. Entry is not posted to the ledger, so it's neither posted to the debit side of the ledger nor posted to the credit side of the ledger. Or we have a double posting in the ledger by mistake. Double posting we post, we post it twice, debit side will tally, credit side will tally, but if there is, it's not accurate. <clears throat> if we write the record the wrong amount, Suppose in the journal, instead of a purchase of 50,000, we write purchase of 5,000. Purchase will come down by 45,000. Creditors will come down by 45,000. But trial balance will agree. Purchase account will be wrong. Creditors account will be wrong. But trial balance will tell. Similarly, if we post it, a wrong account is mentioned. Suppose instead of debiting machinery account, we debit wages account. These are called in a way errors of principle. The error will not be reflected in the trial balance. It will continue to tally. So if we pay wages to a person to work on our machinery, this wages which are paid is supposed to be added to the cost of the machinery. Work on the machinery, on installation of the machinery, to set up the machinery, to, to, to install the machinery. That is supposed to be debited to machinery account. But suppose instead those wages are debited to the wages account. This is actually called an error of principle. We shall discuss this in details later. Error of principle. What happens is since an account has been debited, the, 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 the error is not reflected in the trial balance. But which account is debited? Wages was wrongly debited. Instead, we should have debited machinery account. So the balance in the machinery account is wrong. The balance in the wages account is wrong. But the trial balance will agree. So this is a major limitation of a trial balance that it is not really complete proof that the financial accounts for the ledger accounts have been correctly prepared.